Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my dorm haul. Instead of a vlog, I decided I would put up a dorm haul because a couple of you guys said you wanted to see exactly what I bought for my dorm, so I'm about to show you. I will be a freshman in college starting in September, so I bought kind of a lot of stuff. Oops. I'm going to do this, so I'm going to break it up by store. I have stuff from Target and Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'll show you all the stuff I bought from Target first, and then all the stuff I bought from Bed Bath & Beyond. There isn't going to be really an order, I'm just going to show you things as they're closest to me. So the first thing is a safe. It's a small cash box, and basically I'm just going to put any of my valuables in here, because you never know who's going to be in your room, and you can never be too safe. The next things that I got are these two lamps. I got this one, which is a clip lamp. You can clip it onto wherever you want, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it onto my bed so that if I want to read or something, I don't have to turn all the lights on in the room. And then I just got a desk lamp. This one has like an organizer on the bottom and it has two outlets. So if you plug this into the wall, you can plug two more things into this, which is pretty cool. The next thing I got is a laundry bag and I did get a hamper. I'll show you that in a minute, but I'm going to keep that one in my room and then this I'm going to use to carry all of my laundry down to the laundry room. I also got these Clorox white disinfecting wipes, so if I ever need to wipe something down, I can use these. I also got this. I don't even know if you can see it, but it is basically just one of those backrest pillows and it is so soft. And then I also got two pillows. I got the firm, extra firm ones. The next things that I got, I got cups, bowls, and plates so that I can eat in my room if I want to. Um, they are dishwasher and microwave safe, which is cool. The next things that I got are these um, huggable hangers, they're called. They're just the velvet hangers. These ones are super thin, so you can fit tons of them in your closet, so it will save space. And also, they're the kind that don't let your clothes slip off because they're velvet so your clothes won't slide off and fall into the bottom of your closet. This is just a 10 pack but then behind me I have like the 34 pack so I have 44 hangers and I might need more but hopefully this will work. The next thing I got are wooden um, clothes pins and what I'm going to use these for is I'm going to do like a little DIY project and I'm going to get a bunch of pictures from home and what I'm going to do is get a like twine or maybe yarn or something and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang the yarn along my wall and then I'm going to close pin the pictures onto it. I've seen people do that before and it looks super cute. If you want to see a video on it, let me know and maybe I'll do a little DIY on that. But yeah, I got close pins. The next thing that I got is a Brita water filter. Now the reason I got this is because it's so much easier to fill this up and then use a reusable water bottle rather than buying huge cases of water. And then I also got some more of the filters. The next thing that I got are these command picture frame hanging things. So basically it's just a thing you stick on your wall, but they don't like ruin the paint or anything. You don't have to use nails. I got two packs of these because I'm going to be hanging lots of things up. I also got a pack of the hooks so that I can just use those to hang stuff on. The next thing that I got is this. It's a Dirt Devil. Basically the cheapest vacuum cleaner that I could find. It was like 20 bucks. Plus this one folds up into a very compact size, so it's perfect for a dorm room. The next thing that I got is a super cheap package of washcloths. These were like $3 and there's a bunch in here, so that was perfect. And I also bought a pack of batteries, because you never know when you're going to need batteries. And I'm sure some of the things that I bought are probably battery operated. The next thing that I got is a first aid kit. You never know when you're going to get hurt get a boo-boo, you need a first aid kit, so I got this one. I also got this little B thing, it's like a little cork board, you can stick stuff in. Since my name is Brianna, I got the B one, and it was really cheap, it was like five bucks, so I figured why the hell not. The next thing that I got is a shower caddy. So this one is like the plastic kind, I don't know if I'm gonna have a private bathroom or a communal bathroom, but either way I figured it'd be a good idea to get one of these to store all of my shower stuff in. The next thing that I got is a 10 shelf hanging closet organizer. So you can put shoes in here, scarves, whatever you want. I'm probably going to use it for shoes. 
and this hangs in your closet, saves space. Also from Target, I got this whiteboard because I am a freak when it comes to like planning things out, so I figured this would be a really good way to keep it organized. Next thing that I got is pretty big, so I'm not going to pick it up, but it's right there. I don't know if you can see it behind me. I got a full length mirror, and it was actually super cheap. It was like five bucks, which I was surprised by. And I think my roommate and I are just going to hang this on the back of our door so that when we want to, you know, look at our outfit, see if we're looking cute, we can look in that. The next thing that I got are these two throw pillows. They came in like a package together from Target. And okay, this was, for these two pillows, it was $12, so $6 a piece. Pillows are ridiculously expensive, like the decorative ones. So instead of buying like two $25 pillows, I bought this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the fabric store, find some fabric, purple and blue, because that's my color theme. And I'm going to make my own. So I'm going to make a cover to put over these pillows. And if you want to see a video on that, I could probably do that for you. So if you want to see how I cover these pillows, let me know in the comments. I don't even know if you can see this, but I got a rug from Target. Can you see it? It's gray. Um, basically, it is an area rug. It is four by five and a half feet. So I'm just going to put this like, you know, under my bed on my side of the room because I'm probably going to have tile floors or wood floors and I want something nice and soft on my feet when I wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. I had to. Sorry. The next thing that I got from Target is one of these storage ottoman things. So basically it's just a giant cube. It's got a cushion on top and it opens up and you can store stuff inside of it. It has a pocket on the front. I, store I just hit myself in the face with it. I can store crap in here so I'll probably store like extra sheets, extra throw blankets or something in here. And the last thing that I got from Target are these two giant purple bins. They're storage bins. I'm gonna store stuff in them. That's all you need to know. So now I'm gonna move on to the things that I got from Bed Bath and Beyond. So the first thing that I have is a pop-up hamper. I talked about this a little while ago. Basically this is gonna stay in my room and it has two compartments so I can be super lazy when I take off my clothes Put the dark ones in one side, white in the other, and that way later I don't have to sort them out. I can just take them out of here, put them in the bag, and bring it down to the laundry room. The next thing that I got is this little mini fan because dorm rooms tend to get really stuffy and I figured a fan would be a good investment. The next thing that I got, it whoa, gotta drop it, is a power strip, but this is not your ordinary power strip. It is bendable, so it's like this weird shape and basically you can bend it around things in your room. You can basically you can turn these little knobs around and if it doesn't fit one way you can just turn it and fit it the other way. Okay so the next thing that I got are towels. I got a purple one, a light blue one, and a gray one. Pretty simple. The thing I caught was my bedding trying to lift this huge thing. It is black and white and then it comes with um, it's reversible, so it's blue and white on the other side and it comes with a sheet set, a throw blanket, and a comforter. And then I also got another sheet set for my bed. This one I got is purple, so I got purple sheet set and then I got extra purple pillowcases because this one only comes with one pillowcase, so, and I have two pillows, so I bought an extra. Another thing that I bought is a purple throw blanket. The comforter that I have comes with a blue throw blanket, but I really wanted a purple one, so now I got two. The next thing that I got is a sleeping mask. If your roommate is staying up till 2 a.m. studying with the lights blasting and you really want to go to sleep, you can use this. The next thing that I got are utensils. And I got two sets of those, so just in case I have a buddy over, they want to eat, two sets. The next thing that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond is a bedside caddy. Basically, since my bed, like I said, is going to be lofted, I'm going to be up in the air. So I won't be able to have a nightstand because I won't be able to reach it, obviously. It hooks onto the side of your bed and you can store like a book, a laptop, TV remote, pens, pencils, whatever you need so that if you're hanging out up in your loft and you really want to use your computer, you can just grab it out the bedside caddy instead of getting out of your bed and going all the way down to get it. Next thing that I got are reusable ice cubes. Pretty self-explanatory. They're like little mini ice packs for your water bottle. The next thing that I got is 
a lingerie wash bag. So basically you just throw like your bras and underwear in this thing when you wash it so that if somebody comes into the laundry room and your stuff's done, if they take it out, your bras and underwear are not going to be flying all over the washroom for everybody to see. The next thing that I got is this door hanger thing. So either on the back of my closet door or on the back of our room door, we can hang this. And that way we can hang up either towels or sweatshirts, backpacks, whatever we want. We can just hang it on this. The next thing is a trash barrel. I got this really cute trash barrel. And basically it's just gray and then it has this sign is in red, it says Metro on it. And I just thought it was really cute, so I picked that up. It was the perfect size. The next thing that I got is zippered mattress protector. So basically it's just like a plastic thing you put over your mattress to keep all the nasties away from you. The next thing that I got is this Sleep Zone Foam Mattress Topper. Basically it's just a super cheap mattress topper because the mattresses at college dorms are ridiculously uncomfortable. I stayed overnight for orientation on one and it was like sleeping on a block of hard plastic. So what I'm planning on doing is I got this super cheap uh, foam thing to go on my bed and then I splurged a little bit and spent a little bit more money on this therapeutic Egyptian rich cotton mattress pad. So this was like the thickest, most luxurious mattress pad that I could get. It was around like $70 so it was pretty pricey but it's worth it because it's going to be super comfortable to sleep on. And the last thing that I have to show you from Bed Bath & Beyond is my little food storage thingies. If I want to steal food from the um, dining hall, I can bring one of these and shove food in it. If I want to bring a snack to class, I can use one of these. <sighs> okay, that is the end of my dorm haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Don't forget to let me know if you want to see those two DIYs I talked about with the pillows and then that little picture thing. Also, I'll be doing a Q&A video soon, like I mentioned in my last two videos. Either you can leave me a question down below in the comments, or you can tweet me at TV any questions you have on any topic. Last but not least, if you have any questions about anything that I showed in this video, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Please subscribe, thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next video. Hey guys, so we are going to Ryan's last baseball game of the season. Up this year, all you challenge your ball players. You should be proud of yourself. Give yourself a hand.